okay, we're going to have a go today at doing our own pattern, a bit like Kesha, um, where one design will tessellate into another. But this time, the whole sequence of patterns will tessellate one inside the other. And this is something that Escher did in a design that he called Metamorphosis. And he created about 50 different shapes that locked one inside the other. The idea for this came a little bit from some of his tessellation drawings that you can see here. This is one of the famous ones he did called Day and Night, where we can see birds, black and white birds here, tessellating one inside the other and then morphing into fields at the bottom there. So if you follow one of the white birds, you'll see it tessellates into a white field. And the black bird tessellates into the black field. Well, this metamorphosis idea continues that, but takes lots and lots of different patterns, one into the other. There's a little video clip here I found on YouTube, which you can have a look at, which basically shows you how he does this, how he morphs some of his designs one into the other. So you can see we've got things like lizards and turtles and birds and fish, and they all morph one into the other. So on the internet, there is this site that allows us to do this. I will give you the link at the bottom so you can do this. Uh, first of all, you need to go to restart and start from scratch. Now, you have a choice here when you go to start. You can either pick one of Escher's designs to work from, or you can draw your own. You can begin by drawing anything at all that you like. But if you want to start on a bit easier, you can start with one of his shapes. So this is a cube, a tessellated cube that he designed. You'll notice the black one here is highlighted. So what you need to do is go to draw to start with, and you can start to draw and add things onto this cube. So here you go, you can see I've added some bits to it. Add some more bits down this side here, like this. Whatever you do to the first shape, you'll notice it's also drawing onto the other shapes. The other shapes have also now changed from cubes into this weird shape. If I change my color into a different color here, you'll see I'm gonna be able to draw within the shape. So if I draw a little eye shape in the middle of there, looks a little bit like some sort of hedgehog. Go to the move tool now, what we can do is we can enlarge and shrink this design and also rotate it. So you can see we can now think about what are we gonna do with our amazing shape that we've created. We can interlock it like this, or we can pull it out a bit more and move it around and think about where we're gonna put this to make a pattern from. And it's entirely up to you where you do with this. You can start with this quite far apart and have lots of gaps in the background, or you can lock them all quite close together. Once you've put them where you wanna do, you can also see this rotation here. Repetition, you can go for a triangular repetition. So it's gonna rotate these around and give us a shape in the center. You can see as I rotate that round, it makes another shape in the middle. So we'll go for a star shape this time with that one. Or we can do hexagonal rotation and do something more strange as the object's shape move around. All right, so have a bit of fun doing whatever you want to do with your first design. I'm going to have mine a little bit like that and leave it. Okay, you can also change the color because you can see here you've got color palette. We could change our color choice. This is your initial shape that you're going to start with. What we're going to go on to next is terminal shape. I'm going to create now another shape that's going to tessellate with that first one. This time I'm going to draw it from scratch. So I'm going to start drawing some shapes here. Let's see what we can come up with. I'm going to try and draw a face. So we've got some eyebrows, a bit of a nose, a bit of a mouth there. That will do, I think, for a face for us. I'm going to see if I can make that a little bit bigger. So let's stretch that out a bit first. Make it larger and then think about how we're going to lock that together because it's a strange shape to interlock. So I might turn it around and get it to tessellate a bit. And you can play around with this as much as you want. You can keep drawing on here. The more shapes you draw, obviously the busier the pattern's going to get. You can also still carry on drawing into this. If I draw some more shapes the inside of here, you can see what's happening. The computer is taking my lines and carrying that on as a pattern. It will lock it onto the one you've just done though, so be careful of that. Okay, so be careful while you draw onto the next bit to change it. And if you draw in a different color inside of here, you'll notice that it will remove a section from it. So you can end up with a hole in it, a bit like that. Okay, you can make this design any way that you want. 
tessellate it and pattern it any, any old way. And then if you go to result, what it will do is tessellate the two together. So you can see from the left hand side, we've got my sort of hedge up weird shape. And on the right hand side, I've got my pattern that I finished off with. Now you can carry on doing this and you'll notice that it will interlink with the one that you've just done. If you press the publish at the bottom, it will put that onto the website with everybody else's. Apparently there's over 20,000 patterns on here already. But more importantly, this one will now tessellate into the one I just did earlier. So you could actually link those two together and see how they tessellate from this first idea to the second one. You can print these all off. You can stick them all on your wall and you could end up with a huge tessellated pattern that goes around from one side of the wall to the other. Have fun, save it, share it, and let's see what we can create.